Hi everyone, this is Eric Klaus, president of IAMCP SoCal, the International Association of Microsoft Channel Partners, and here today talking with John Fry from ConnectWise. John, let's chat a little bit about sales and marketing trends within the, uh, the managed services industry. What are you seeing out there today? What's working for partners? Uh, what does, what's not working for partners? No, absolutely, Eric. I appreciate uh, you having us here. Um, you know, chances are if you're watching this video, you have a passion for technology. Um, but when it comes to sales and marketing, maybe that's not quite your forte. So some of the things that, that we've seen uh, in the industry with our partners really tie back to you know, marketing automation and, and sales automation. And really when you look at marketing automation, there's tools within the ConnectWise subset that, that help you do that, right? So just ways to get your messaging out because we've heard stories about partners who might have offered Office 365 services, but their customers didn't know about it, and all of a sudden there's another vendor coming in and offering it, offering that to their client. So just awareness and you know the, the cadence to do so is very important, and obviously the more you can automate that, the better. Um, the other side of it is really the sales automation piece. So looking at ways to have quoting and proposal automation platforms to really you know, transform the way you do your quotes and proposals, but also the way your prospects and uh, your customers interact with them. You know, Connect Why Sell is, is something that we've heard quite often, you know, helps in that process. So it helps to automate uh, the templatization of your business. So anything from simple line item quotes to deeper statements of work and everything in between. Uh, everyone's on the same page. They're not chasing different, you know, formats, different Excel spreadsheets, Word docs. Everyone's on that same platform. Um, and then another piece of it too, comes down to the way you deliver it. Um, through Cell, you have the ability to produce a standard you know, document, which is great, but uh, most of our partners actually leverage the online e-quote capability. So at that point, you're really starting to inject technology as part of your sales process. I always make the argument as a technology service provider, you need to represent technology in everything you do, especially the sales process. So if I'm a decision maker and I'm looking at a standard you know, Excel-based quote, and it's you know just has a bunch of line items on it. Or if I'm looking at something that came out of Connect Y Cell, it's interactive. It allows me to make choices. Maybe it has bronze, silver, gold plans on it that I can self-select. It's interactive. It has you know injected video in it, multimedia. It screams technology. It maybe tells a story about how it's going to be after I sign this agreement, the interaction and the post-sale process, and that sort of thing. That sort of differentiation has gone quite a long way for um, the partners and prospects that we've spoken to. Fantastic, you know, you hit on a couple of really important points that I think we talk about frequently for, for partners, and maybe we can talk a little bit further about that, but you talked about packages uh, for partners, and that's something that, you know, on the panel show we focus on frequently uh, for partners creating their packages and how important that is, that silver, bronze, gold uh, type of uh, approach for them because they can add more uh, services into those. It's also a way of differentiating themselves in the market. And then uh, the other thing that I thought uh, you touched on there that's also incredibly important and uh, partners I think also struggle with is the process side of things. That, that sales is a process, that, that there needs to be a, an approach, there needs to be a standardization around that. Have you seen partners who are successful with that and, and what have you seen them doing? No, absolutely. So it is a process. It's the process that should be taken you know, very seriously. So when you start to build in uh, quoting and proposal automation, another benefit is all those products or services that you put on that quarter proposal can automatically flow into an opportunity system. So now you have a accurate depiction in terms of a pipeline, you know, what's been quoted and you can, you know, look at things out into the future from a sales perspective that you simply didn't have before, right? Another benefit there is once that lives in the opportunity system, it can now move on to its next logical step in the post sale process. So whether it becomes a service ticket or a project, all those things that were spoken to in the sales process are now injected over to your implementation, your services team. So essentially the handoff from sales to service becomes much more cleaner. That translates into a much smoother customer experience as well. 
Perfect. Yeah, I think you know those are incredibly important elements of that. Uh, things not getting lost, things not getting dropped in in the cracks that you know we so often see when there's not a methodology, there's not a process in place to follow from a, a consistent selling standpoint. The other thing that I think is important there is, uh, you know, every organization has turnover, and one of the challenges for a lot of organizations is. Um, we start a relationship with a, a customer, or we start a relationship with a prospective customer today, but that might not translate into business for six months, 12 months, maybe yeah. sometimes it turns into years in some cases. Um, and not having a system in place to, to track that and not having a process in place for that, those opportunities basically fall and now nobody's following up with them. So, I mean, I think that that's another incredibly important part of, of having that, uh, that sell element that you talked about in there. So that from a business leadership standpoint, from a, a sales leadership standpoint, you have a, a mechanism for the next salesperson to come in or to be able to hand that opportunity off to someone else in the organization as needed. Um, the value of your organization comes down to exactly that. You know, if you can't uh, continue to nurture those opportunities because they're not being tracked somewhere, uh, you're losing money. You know, it's it's the leak in the in the in the business, uh, and that's I think you know also incredibly important. Um, what are good? What are some good processes, or what are some good tips that that you've seen uh, other partners? Uh, put in place around their processes? Well, essentially, they're looking to plug their team into an expert system, right? So you'd like to your point earlier, you're going to have turnover, people are going to come and go. You want that next employee who's coming into a sales role, service role, whatever the role is, to be plugged into the expert system and be able to be up and running you know, rather quickly. Things are standardized, everyone's on the same page, and that way the, um, the time for that person to get ramped up just slices dramatically when you have that expert system in place. And those are the sort of things that really from a process standpoint, you know, you know make you know, the, the top tier partners uh, stand out. You know, you said something really great there, expert system, that's fantastic because that's exactly it. Having that process, having that system in place uh, allows them to have uh, that expertise from a sales standpoint uh, and that consistency of approach with the customers. Um, that's a really great selling point because uh, for a lot of organizations, they they don't have these things in place. So if ConnectWise has the ability to you know sort of lay that out there for them, it gives them a, a, a roadmap to success uh, that they don't otherwise have. Absolutely. So yeah. incredibly, incredibly valuable. Well, John, thank you very much. Really appreciate having you come in and, and chat with us today. Um, we really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.